Hey guys, it's Greg, and welcome back to Comment Shorts, where we answer your YouTube comments in the form of a short video. So today's comment comes from Damien, who asks, any idea how to add one a sidebar to an Aweber signup form on the Sydney theme, which is where he asked that question. Thanks. Love it, Damien. The old one-two punch. If you give a mouse a cookie, they're going to ask for some milk. So let's get Damien his answer, and if you have WordPress blogging or website questions too, or even if they're not related to WordPress, make sure to ask them in the YouTube comments beneath one of our videos. And of course, make sure to subscribe so that you hear the answers to all these questions. Maybe yours is featured too, and so you get the latest in WordPress how-to tips. All right, so let's go to the demo site where we can answer Damien's question and scroll down. All right, and now we're gonna add the sidebar on the Sydney theme. That starts by clicking Edit Page, and it's really easy. You just need to navigate over to the Page Attributes section over here, and on each page there's this section right here. And then in Template, you can just change it to Default Template and Update. Now we can click View Page, and when we scroll down, we can see that you've now added a sidebar to our front page. So we get the content that we've made in Page Builder, as well as that sidebar with the default WordPress content in it. Pretty cool. All right, so you might want to add some stuff here. You might like how it overlaps your content on the home page, or you might just want to remove content. Totally up to you. The nice thing about this sidebar is we can remove it from some pages and add it to others. So I don't like how it looks on the home page, AKA the front page. So we can change that back to front page template and update. Front page template just means the full width and it's the best for showcasing you know a front page as Sydney envisions it. But we can go back to the site and choose something like our about page. Click edit and then we can customize just one page with the sidebar. Choose template, default template and update. And view page. So the great thing is the Sydney theme lets you choose which pages have a sidebar. That makes a little more sense, although this gray might need to be worked with. But in any case, we've seen how to add a sidebar to the Sydney theme. While you're working on your sidebar, you might want to add that Aweber signup form. To do so, you can just visit Aweber, where you can sign up for their free trial for $1 a month and then eventually pay the full price like I do when you start collecting lots and lots of subscribers. Once you've set up your list, you just need to click on Sign Up Forms and choose which form you want to insert onto your blog or website. And you can see they give us this nice data like how many times this form has been displayed and how many times it's worked and what that conversion rate comes out to. And once you find a good one, like DB sidebar, you can just open it. Haven't done this in a little while, but Aweber has updated their look. It's looking good. We can just click go to step two because we already made the form and then click on publish. And then click on I will install my form. You get this custom code, click it once. Right click copy. We're not gonna let our web designer install our form because I'll probably mess it up. And then we're gonna go back to our about page and we're going to get to the sidebar by clicking Customize. Scroll down and click Widgets, Sidebar, Add Widget, and all you need is just a blank text widget at the very bottom, or the Visual Composer if you've installed the Tiny MC Black plugin, which I definitely recommend. Click Text, and in the Content Space, just right click and paste. Very cool. We can call this one Join Our Community. Or something along those lines and then drag it to the top because people are used to seeing it above the fold and save and publish and when we X out and check out our about page you should notice that that form is on the sidebar and if you don't see your changes we have to turn off the WP Super Cache plugin so we'll go to settings WP Super Cache and we're just gonna turn caching off and update status that's one of those things I always forget. I don't know if you're like me, but I always forget that one. 
and at least I remember it now so I don't drive myself crazy like restarting the computer or closing the browser. Now with caching off, the about page should show us our new form. There you go. So the sidebar looks pretty cool. It's kind of like uh, hovering over the content, which honestly might be a look you want to go with. Up to you. Could be cool. And in any case, now your readers can go ahead and subscribe right through the form, the Aweber form in your sidebar. All right, so that was how to add a sidebar to the Sydney WordPress free theme and how to add an Aweber contact form to said sidebar. All right, so hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot, Damien, for asking the question that inspired this tutorial. And uh, make sure to keep asking your questions because I might feature yours, or in any case, just answer it. You know, someone else might answer it. It's just good to ask when you have a question and ask quickly so you get the answer quickly. And of course, make sure to subscribe so that you get your answers and you get all the latest from our WordPress community. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys, because I love making these tutorials for you. I'll see you guys soon.